In 2020.3, Tableau have added the ability to add site level time zones to data extract so that they can reflect the accurate time in their respective extracts. It sounds like a bit of a weird concept, but essentially what used to happen is that you'd publish a desktop, let's say in London, with an extract scheduled, but then the server itself or Tableau Online would be in a different country, let's say the United States. And so the times that you'd get refreshes and the times that you'd get in the data set would be different because essentially the extract is being run in a different time zone. So the actual times that you get slightly off. So what they've actually done is they've added the ability to change that at a site level. So that even though your server might be in, let's say America, you can actually set the UK time zone. And so the dates will match compared to what you're seeing on desktop versus server. To show you that, I'm going to have to create a workbook and then publish it up to my Tableau Online instance and then show you the difference in terms of time. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a new sheet and I'm going to go ahead and create a calculation. Now there's actually a function inside of Tableau that does this for you. If you just type in the term now, you'll see that there's automatically a suggestion there to autocomplete. And this is basically just going to return the date and time right now. So let's just call this date time now. That's all we need. Hit apply and click OK. I'm also going to rename uh, sheet 16 to date time now. OK, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this new calculation onto text to give us the date and time there. Now you can see here that it's actually giving me the year, not the full date and time. And so if you're familiar with Tableau, you'll know that this just needs us to change the definition of the date here by going down and choosing the exact date so that we can get the exact time. And you can see here, I'm recording quite late here in the UK. It's 11.42 and 55 seconds. Let's see if we can get this feature and video done before midnight. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this up to our Tableau server. I'm gonna go ahead and just publish this specific sheet. I'm already signed into the Tableau server, so I'm not gonna go through that step. But what I will do is I'll publish this, this up to the 2020.3 release. It's just called the Regional Workbook. And I'm gonna specifically target the sheet that I've just created, which is called Date Time Now. So I'm gonna hit None and just hit the Date Time Now and then uh, leave that as is. Now, everything else is going to be embedded with the workbook, so it will just go up to the server. And I'm going to hit publish. And as soon as that's done, what should happen is it should open up a window and we should actually see that particular sheet. Now, the thing to bear in mind here is that in my workbook, it says the time is now uh, the 4th. Uh, 2342. This is the basic sort of time segment to remember, 1142.55. If I then go back to the specific view, and I'm just trying to get this up now, you can see that when I go in here, the time is 344. And the reason this is, is because I've actually set the time zone differently on server. I've set it to Los Angeles, I believe. So let's go ahead and show you how to change that setting. We need to go over to the settings. And at the very, very bottom, it's a new option that's been added to 2020.3, and that is this particular time zone, okay? So I can actually choose the correct time zone, and this time I'm gonna look for London. I can never remember where London is in this really long list. It's obviously around about GMT plus zero, um, but um, yeah, there it is, London. Hit save. And so set time zone for extracts has been changed. The extracts that's sitting inside of that workbook is now going to reflect the London time zone. Go back to my view, hit refresh, and you'll see nothing has changed. And you're probably wondering, why is this? What's going on here? Well, the issue is, is that the extracts already captured the date and time, okay? So we need to actually go back, go in here, hit server, hit publish. We're going to publish over the workbook. And when it actually takes this extract with it, it's going to have the correct time zone applied to it. So hit publish, hit yes. And this will simulate the extract being refreshed. And now when we look at this, this should now say the correct time. So it should match the UK time here, which is uh, just before midnight. So let's go into that. And you can see now that's showing the correct time. And if I go back to the old one, which has just been refreshed and we hit refresh, now that says the correct time. So it's important to note that time zone change 
doesn't take place until you've actually triggered a refresh or the workbook has been manually updated or republished up to reflect the refresh um, essentially being uh, tied to the time zone. So that's pretty much how the feature works. It's actually quite handy. Um, you get this issue a lot, especially in global organizations where the time zones are slightly different or the reporting time zone is different, but the server itself, the server infrastructure is held in a different country. And so everyone has to do some weird sort of date calculations to make the time say the correct thing in the time zones that people are looking at it. Or you create some sort of parameter so people can essentially change their time zone so the time is always correct for them. And those are some of the hacks that you used to have to do to get around this. But now this is built into server. You don't have to do so much of that and it's just automatically figured out for you. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of the other videos on 2020.3. I keep forgetting how to say that, 2020.3. Um, we've got some great content on this release. And by all means, check out some of the other videos on Tableau on the channel and be sure to subscribe if you like the content. If you don't like the content, let us know what you'd like to see in the comments below.